even as the S&P 500 has fallen 2% in just the last month, a number of stocks have hit new 52-week highs. Tricky thing is, since hitting their respective highs, many of those names have severely underperformed the market. Here to explain is a man who never underperforms, CNBC's Dominic Chu. Hi, Dom. Well, Melissa, I do my best, and I certainly try to manage expectations. And speaking of those expectations, the current market has already taken a lot of the heat away from some of the hottest trades of the year so far, and the stock drops have more than a trade, few traders here wondering if it's the real beginning of a trend reversal. So we took a look at the S&P 500 large cap stock universe. About 100 of them have hit fresh 52-week highs sometime in the last month. That's not bad. But here's where things get a little bit worrisome. 23 of those names have now fallen by at least 5% from those lofty levels. Among those names on the short list, you know, gold and gold mining stocks have been hot, and it's no exception for Newmont Mining, but it's cooled off, now down 5% from the highs earlier this month. We know how hot McDonald's has been with recent record highs, but it's now fallen 6% since then. Retail, of course, been a big focus lately. Coach has been on an upswing since the year started, but it's now down 7% since its recent highs. And some of those dividend-paying consumer staple stocks, like Campbell, for instance, it hit a high just a couple of weeks ago, and now the stock has fallen by 9% since then. So the big question is whether or not these are the early stages of a trend reversal for these hot stocks or just a pullback in a longer-term bullish story.